We've got Team Cedar Grilling Parrot Sticks. Parrot Sticks. Why are they called Parrot Sticks? Well, it's actually named after my bird, Kiwi. Yeah, she's a parrot. And um, we actually developed this recipe for a, it would be chef's choice at a competition where you right. get to cook something and it's just really, really different. Well, why don't you show me how you make a parrot stick? First of all, take the wing like yes. this and a skewer and you're going to enter. We want to stretch it out right. so to make the, the skin, you know, stretch out and get it good and crispy. Okay. So we're going to actually come in through. Oh, yeah. Through the bottom. Let me try this. And up like this. And it's going to look like a parrot. Is, and it does. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a parrot? Well, let's do a couple of these. Sure. Let me see if I can do these. This isn't how I used to do chicken wings, kids. Back in the old days. Oh, and you don't stab your hand, right, Steve? Oh. Try not to stab your hand, but I got it. Does mine look like a parrot? Did I do it? All with right. A, with a broken neck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well, you fix it and I'll season them. How about that? Okay. My broken neck chicken. Now you uh, you so, oil these, don't you? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to. Oh, and what's that for, little boy? Relax. Okay. <laughs> we're going to. Uh, I'll fix this one. Oh. We I'll just get. Fix this one. We're just gonna get some oil on them, right? And okay. when the skin stretches out like this, it makes it really nice and crispy yeah. with a little bit of oil. Great. Just like that. This okay. is cool. And okay. then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the, the seasoning. Okay. And we're going to just put a little bit of uh, cornstarch on the top. Right. And the cornstarch just kind of makes a nice little crispy crust. Good. And you kids might have noticed him panicking when he heard a buzz. This is how these guys cook. They cook with timers. They cook with uh, heat probes, thermometers. So what is this thing telling you now? Um, that this barbecue is up to heat? Yes. <laughs> and he walks around with it in his back. Beep, beep, beep. So let's get these on. Sure. And you'd like them bone side down, right? Bone side down. I've got this nice and hot at 600 degrees, Steve. Perfect. We're gonna go like this, bone side down. That must have been yours. It doesn't want to sit bone side down. How's that? Like that, Steve? Okay. Perfect. That? Good. Good. Not perfect, yeah, I just but it's okay. <laughs> great. Aren't these the neatest things? These would be great for appetizers, cocktail parties. Oh yeah. They'd be fabulous. And this is one of the competition foods that you are you doing. No, no. This is just uh, this is just yeah, this is just a fun food. Okay. Um, so the this crown, the crown Verity easy. has, um, I'm just going to uh, yeah, put a some tin foil on this. Okay, you didn't oil so, these? No, they, they didn't get oiled. Okay. So the Crown Verity has this ledge here right. where there's no heat in the front. That's but if right. you have, you can do this on any barbecue and, uh, instead of soaking the sticks, which right. I don't like to do, you no. can add a little bit of tin foil. Like that. Cool. How come yours looks so much better than mine? I don't get that it. looks good. And I just turn okay. the heat down to low and we'll let it go for right. 20 to 30 minutes like that. 20 to 30 minutes for that, eh? Yeah. Well, while that's getting hot and cooking, we'll be right back. Steve, I gotta check these parrots. Look at them, oh, they look great. Don't they look fabulous?